Tim, Tim Danton, editor-in-chief of PC Pro magazine. Why do you think Commodore products are no more in the UK? Well, I think it's just because the the fact that everyone moved to a mix of consoles, which became hugely popular in the 90s for gaming, um, and to the likes of Windows and Macs for productivity software. So that's where the market went, and you can immediately see that Commodore was not in that market. Sam, where do you think it went wrong? Listening to everything, my CEO in, in one of my businesses that's a trained accountant will love me for saying this, but businesses need strong financial controls. Just like if you just went out as an individual and just started buying all your shopping and didn't look at how much money you'd got in the bank and paid no attention to that at all, eventually you're going to get yourself into trouble. Businesses, no matter how big they are, have to be able to know exactly how much money is coming in and how much money is going out. And what good financial people will do is they'll have a whole stream of, of models behind the business so that they can predict if something is going to go gangbusters and you're going to sell a lot of them, exactly how much money it's going to take to to be able to deal with that. And it sounds to me like lack of financial control, lack of management engagement would be my uh, take on this. 